welcome to Sci-Fi Frontier. I'm Dominic. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the film Splice. So I just finished watching this movie on Amazon. Now, uh, this is my actually my second viewing of the film. I originally watched this film when it came out in theaters around 10, 11 years ago. Um, now, a friend of me and a friend of mine went to see this film. And I remember when we went out to the movies, I, I don't remember the logic of why we decided to pick this film. But... Uh, we kind of both had low expectations going into it, but uh, I actually really enjoyed this movie and I enjoyed it again upon second viewing. So now I'm uh, going to just go into the uh, talk about the plot a little bit. I won't get into any spoilers, but I'll give a quick breakdown of the plot and then I'll give a heads up when I'm going to talk about spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen this movie. So the uh, plot of the movie is two scientists, Adrian Brody and Sarah Polly. Uh, are a couple and they both work in this lab and what they're doing is they're uh, designing like uh, they're creating a designer species by cherry cherry picking uh, different types of DNA from different animals to, to and combine it to create a completely new life form and then the company they work for is going to you know exploit that life form or use that life form to create new medicines and drugs and th things like that uh, so they end up creating two new life forms, one male, one female. And now these two things, honestly, uh, the way they're designed, they look like uh, caterpillars combined with penises. That's what they, they look like penis caterpillars, these creatures. That's, that's how they kind of look in the movie. Uh, so they create these two things and it's a success, it's a success and uh, it's a success. And the company is then wants to move further for them to start harvesting uh, enzymes and stuff so they can make new drugs. Now, Sarah Polly wants to take this science further. And she proposes, well, we could do a lot more and cure a lot more diseases if we splice this thing or make a hybrid with a human being. And she is immediately shot down by the corporate heads, saying that uh, the, the politicians will tear us apart. Can't be done. It's too, too many moral dilemmas. But... Uh, her and her uh, and Adrian Brody go back to the lab and decide, well, let's just see if we can actually create the DNA to do this, if we can actually splice the human DNA. And so they take uh, some DNA, female DNA, human female DNA, and then, and they, and you know, it takes a bit of work, but they end up doing it. They end up splicing it, creating the DNA for a new uh, creature. Uh, but they, they're not going to use it. They put it away. But then Sarah Polly gets the idea, well, no, let's just grow the embryo and then we'll terminate the embryo just to see if we can do it. And, they end up just creating the creature because she just keeps pushing the envelope more and more and more. And they create like a brand new uh, life form that's a hybrid of the weird penis creature, caterpillar things, and a human. So then um, that's where all the wacky hygienics then ensue from there. So now the thing about this movie, it's an old sci-fi trope. Um, this whole idea of scientists creating a new life form and kind of meddling in nature and it having disastrous consequences. And this goes all the way back. There's been a lot of movies like one of my favorite sci-fi horror films is the fly that deals with this. And then if you go all the way back to one of the very first science fiction novels is Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, where Dr. Frankenstein creates this monster and then is horrified by this creation. And then, you know, has to deal with the consequences of him bringing this new life into the world and not really thinking about what the ramifications of doing that would be. And so Sarah Polly's character is basically Dr. Frankenstein in this film. Uh, now what I like about this film is it you don't get a lot of, well I guess you still do get sci-fi movies like that, but it was just a pretty well done science fiction movie. And now I don't think it did well when it came out in theaters, it wasn't a big hit or anything, but uh, just as a standalone film, it's really good to watch and I really enjoyed it and what I liked about it is the is it's the film has like a constant tension in the movie because this hybrid they made is human looking enough that you can sympathize with it but still alien enough that you don't know what it's going to do it's still like unpredictable because it may look very close to being human but at the end of the day it's not human so that gives the film this constant tension throughout the whole movie and there's some gore in the movie, but not much. It's, it's not really a super gory film. 
Okay, now I'm going to get into spoilers. So spoiler warning, I'm going to start talking in more detail about the film. Uh, so um, now in the movie, there is, after they create this uh, creature, they end up naming her Dren. And uh, she doesn't look very human when she's first born. But as she grows rapidly, and she grows very rapidly, she looks more and more human. But she never fully looks human. Um, so they... So they end up really, uh, and they now they end up caring a lot about this uh, creature, and it's kind of like they kind of treat it like their own child. But, but uh, the interesting thing is Adrian Brody is the one who's very uh, skeptic skeptical about this new creature that they've created, and he's the one that's not. He was never fully committed to doing this. He always had his his conscience was always pulling on him, and. He was the one who wanted to terminate this whole project right off the bat before it even got started. But Sarah Pauly is just wants to have this done, wants to do this, and like won't take no for an answer. And uh, so you kind of have that. So that creates the, the the tension between the two characters and creates like the conflict between uh, Sarah Pauly and Adrian Brody is that he realizes this. We really screwed up. This is a mistake. We should not have done this. And where Sarah Polly is just blinded by her need to push forward with science, but it's it's even more than that uh, because Sarah Polly treats right up, right from the get go treats this hybrid like a human child, like it's her own child. And because uh, there's a subplot about Adrian Brody, he wants to have a baby with her, and she's very hesitant; she doesn't want to have any children um, because. And I think the theme is, but she treats this hybrid like a like a like a human because because like a human baby would be more she i think in her mind this is what i get from the movie and in her mind it's a it's a, an experiment that she can control she can control all the conditions around this where a actual child would be more uncontrollable that's how i kind of viewed it i don't know if that's what they were going for in the film or not but uh so she keeps uh treating this like a human child and that kind of causes her to be very naive in the movie and overlooks how dangerous this hybrid can be or how or how dangerous it can potentially be and uh, so that kind of ends up to her downfall or their downfall in the film so uh i guess some of the things i didn't like about this movie is um one thing in in the movie they something really they, they the scientists kind of do something kind of stupid something kind of gets telegraphed in the film and you pick up on where this is going pretty quick but the characters don't they're kind of dumb to this so um they're they're spending a lot of time with dren and they're kind of ignoring the other project they got with the first two creatures they made at the beginning of the movie and uh so uh Adrian Brody's brother actually works at the lab and he kind of informs him well that you know the one creature has been going through a lot of like changes like more testosterone and stuff like that more hormone hormone changes and they kind of like just ignore it and then when they go to show off these two creatures at the uh, you know investors meeting this is what we mean here's the two designer creatures this is going to be the big cell they have them in a big glass cage with two sliding doors so they slide the two doors down let the two creatures come together when they go to when they come together this time they completely go nuts and kill each other like completely kill each other and it's blood everywhere and they have smash in a glass cage and everyone freaks out big huge chaotic moment and then they don't then they're stuck well what the hell happened well it turns out they had made originally made a female and a male then the female changed genders and turned into a female and then the two males were in close quarters together so they you know fought for dominance and killed each other so then it was an absolute disaster. So now when this happens, you kind of know, okay, now you just combine the human DNA with one of these things. None of them, didn't, like either character, neither character like picks up on it or realizes this is going to happen. This could potentially happen with the creature we got made. And uh, so then they, 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 for the first part of the movie, they hide, her in a lab, they hide her in a lab and then they take her out to a farm and they keep her in a barn because they don't want to keep her in a house in case someone might see her or something, which I thought that was really stupid since no one comes to this farm, and it's like an old isolated farm. So I don't know why they just didn't keep her in a house instead of keeping her in a barn that uh, looked really drafty and cold. <laughs> That's because it was in wintertime. 
Uh, so they move her out there. And now this is where the tension starts to pick up. Because now the Dren is getting older and she's starting to, uh, you know, wanting to strike out on her own. And uh, starting to rebel against uh, Sarah Polly's character. And uh, so this is where the danger... So, so Dren has a cat that she finds, keeps it as a pet, and Sarah Polly takes away. Because, oh no, it's you don't know what this could do since you're being exposed to this uh, cat. It might make you sick or something. Which seems to me, that seemed really stupid. Since you, you're you leaving her in an old farm, in an old barn, like a, that belonged to a farm. There's all kinds of stuff she could get exposed to in there. Bugs, mice, you know, birds, all kinds of crap. So why do you care if she has this cat? So it upsets Dren. And then, uh, so Sarah Polly ends up giving her back the cat. But now she gets really vicious and she has like a poison tail. And she kills the cat gets really aggressive with uh, Sarah Polly, and then uh, Dren tries to escape. Sarah Polly knocks her out with a shovel and then starts goes back to trying to treat her like a, an experiment again and not a human being and then cuts off her poison, the end of her poisonous tail. And then Adrian Brody shows up and then he, uh, you know, uh, his girl, Sarah Polly, his girlfriend, she says, well, I'm going to finish because they're still trying to create this enzyme at the lab from the remains of two first creatures so she takes dren's tail she goes well i'm gonna make this enzyme i'm headed to the lab right now so adrian brody frees uh dren and she ends up <laughs> ends up basically seducing him he had this weird like he started to become attracted to her for some strange reason and uh which that i, I thought was kind of far-fetched like if you if that would happen in real life like it would have been more interesting if I don't know, my theory of the movie, they never said this in the movie, but maybe the creature of Dren can release some kind of a pheromone to, like, uh, ensnare, like, a male. Uh, so he ends up having sex with her, and then while he's having sex with her, like, it looks like Dren was going to kill him with her tail. Uh, but then, at the last minute, before she does, Sarah Polly shows up again and sees her boyfriend... You know, having sex with Dren on the barn floor, and anyway, she gets all mad and takes off. And then they, he chases her, and then they confront each other. And then he ends up realizing that um, she used her own DNA to create Dren. And then the dangerous thing with that is, she in her in her past, her family history, it's not really expanded upon in the movie, but it is hinted at that Sarah Polly's mother was mentally unstable. So now he said, uh, you know, and he said, you better look back into your family history. So because of that deep defect in her past, Adrian Broly realized, well, maybe Dren could have picked that up and maybe she might be mentally unstable because she got violent and killed the cat and stuff. And then they go back there and then the, at the final end of the movie, uh, Dren gets really ill and they think she's dead and they bury her. And then the other scientists show up adrian brody's brother and then the guy who's kind of like the leader of the project he's not really a scientist but he's like a suit <laughs> he's a suit the suit shows up and they demand to see this creature because they realize once the other scientists looked at the enzyme they were able to spot that it was human dna in it. so they go to dig it up and now it's came out of the grave and now it's changed genders now it's a male and it's a lot more aggressive and it kills the two other males uh and the suit and Adrian's um, brother. And so it ends up, uh, they have uh, like, uh, so they, they try to escape, but uh, it almost drowns Adrian Brody. And then it chases Sarah Polly through the woods and ends up violating her, ends up raping her. So now it's a male that wants to, uh, you know, you know, uh, propagate its species, so to speak. So it ends up raping her. But then uh, Adrian Brody ends up stabbing it through the back with a, like a wooden bust, with a busted off shovel handle. And then the, he kind of fights with the thing. And then the thing is about to uh, kill him. But then Sarah Polly smashes its head in with a rock. And so this is like kind of the, the, the whole thing that why they why they kept getting into more and more trouble in this movie is because Sarah Polly kept treating this potentially very dangerous new species like a human or like a human child and not realizing okay it looks human but at the end of the day it's not a human being and it 
it's it's like having a wild animal that could turn on you and trying to make that into a pet but it can turn on you at any moment and so it's a totally new species and it's completely unpredictable and because of that naivety she had in the film it led right up to this point so she struck it over the head and she's going to hit it again, but then pauses because she starts to see it as her child still. She's still got that soft spot for it after it just had killed two people and raped her. Um, she still, for some reason, has a soft spot for the creature. And then it kills Adrian Brody with its tail. And then finally, that's the last straw and she smashes his head in and kills him. So they ended up having to kill the thing anyway <laughs> at the end of the movie. So... If cooler heads had prevail, and then she just wasn't so obsessed with creating this new life form, we could have avoided all this, not done this to begin with. So it's that same old sci-fi trope of having disastrous consequences when you create a new life form and bring it into the world, and you don't know what it's going to do because it's completely unpredictable. And then also those themes of man interfering with nature, and then you know all these disastrous consequences uh, arising from that. And uh, then the movie ends with Polly, uh, uh, Sarah Polly, and the, the corporate head of this company. And then Sarah Polly is pregnant, presumably with this thing's baby. And now they're going to use that to create all kinds of new drugs and make all new kind, all kinds of new scientific break, break, breakthroughs. Because this her baby, this hybrid that she's carrying, is now going to be the property of this company. And then the movie ends. So. Um, yeah, there a few like parts I thought were kind of dumb. Like uh, it was kind of frustrating Sarah Pauly's character because she just would not get it. Like what Adrian Brody was trying to tell her about having this thing or creating this thing, and what kind of disasters it was ha happening. Because as soon as it's made, he realizes we we made a mistake right off the bat. He realized that he kept saying that through the whole thing. We made a mistake. We shouldn't have done this. This is wrong to do. Sarah Pauly is just totally naive. Keeps no 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 this. You know, this is a project. We got to see this through. This I want to do this. This is the right thing to do. And then it just blows up in her face, and she ends up losing uh, her boyfriend to this thing. And her boyfriend's brother gets killed by this thing, and then her boss gets killed by this thing, and then she gets raped and impregnated by this thing, and then the poor kitty cat got killed by this thing. So <clears throat> it really didn't go well. Uh, but it's still a very good film, and I would uh, definitely uh, recommend checking it out. Because it's uh, even though the, the the idea behind the film is like an old one that's been beat to death lots in science fiction, this is still a good film. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers, and thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.